Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a monthly tarot horoscope for February 2018. And this is for you coming from Capricorn. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic tarot cards and the first card I'm going to pull will be for your first 15 days of February. And let's start with the area of romance first. And for you coming from Capricorn, you're going to have tremendous good luck in the first 15 days of February. Everything you try to do seems to work. So let's talk of your romance first. And if you're looking for a romance, you're going to find a very, very good one. And if you already have an ongoing romance, it's going to flourish and it's going to be so much bonding and it's going to be so helpful for you. So first 15 days in romance areas, plenty of happiness and bliss and you will be graduating towards wanting long-term plans as well. The marriage area also does very well if you are married and you and your children, if you have any, are going to be very happy and so with your siblings and your parents as well. The whole family group produces plenty of good vibes and you will be a very happy person in marriage. Financial situations good, all together the bonding, so go out as often as you can during these first 15 days to create the bonding. Let's move to your area of job and this is the time in the first 15 days of February to make your move if you want to plan to make changes in your job. Make your applications in the first 15 days. You are bound to get very good results, long-term results especially. And you'll be lucky in your ongoing job if you don't want to move. You'll get good news regarding promotion, good news regarding more pay. All that is very possible. So show your best at your place of work. Try to work overtime. Show your bosses of your commitment. And you will see that it's going to pay whatever you do in the first 15 days. And your area of job will be improving a lot. If you are in business, you're going to get very good news in the first 15 days of February. Long-term good news, short-term good news is shown. And the possibility of adding things to your business, new angles or new branches of business is also seen. The growth is quite good in the 15 days. I see that there is an addition to businesses. You will even attract business investors or business partner if you want. So get very busy in the first 15 days of February for you coming from Capricorn and you will attract plenty of good news for yourself. Now, that's for your uh, business. Regarding health, the only thing I can find difficulty for you is some allergies of some kind. They are going to produce some problems, whether it's sinusitis or skin, or whether it's to, to do with your eyes or your stomach. Something of an allergy can trouble you in this first 15 days of, of uh, February. Now the next card that I pull will have to do with your last 15 days and that's really not a very good card. It's not the worst but it's not anywhere good as the first 15 days. So your last 13 days, be careful that in your romance area you can get some news leaking about your secrets or about your romance partner's secrets and that of course will bring plenty of unhappiness. So in the last 15, last 13 days, there's problems between you and your romance partner. And if you find a romance in your last 15 or last 13 days, tell yourself to be very cautious. This person comes loaded with complications. And of course, the background of this person you will need to check out because it shows this person has got a lot of secrets due to the complications. So a new partnership, a new romance found in these last 13 days would be a bit dangerous for you. Take your time, ask people, ask mutual friends about this person first. In marriage, you're also going to have some difficulties. There's some interference that I can see in your last 13 days in your marriage. Could it be from your parents or the, uh, your partner's parents, your marriage partner's parents? Or could it be that there's, there's somebody trying to create problems, so don't share any personal secrets with outsiders in these last 13 days. And uh, in, your marriage situation seems to be ignited, meaning that it's easily brought to a boil. So there must be some issues and some of the other issues I worry about are financial issues, which are going to bring upsets, how the money is spent or how the money is kept or who gets it, some things like that. 
So if you value your, your, your marriage area, you try to be a person who, as best as possible, try to be understanding, whether in romance or marriage area. Your family, extended family area, don't allow parents or don't allow siblings, brothers, sisters to get anywhere involved in the last 13 days. They'll only mess it up even more. Now let's go to your job area. And your job area in the last 13 days is not secure. And so you have to be very careful. A mistake made which smacks you in the face and a miscommunication also bad. So you have to be very cautious in the last 13 days in your job and put your shoulder to the wheel and concentrate on your responsibilities. Your job is definitely not secure for you coming from Capricorn. You won't lose the job from what I can see, but you may have to make changes in your existing job which are not beneficial to you. And so somebody who, who comes on top of you in terms of promotion, you'll be very unhappy in the last 13 days, things like that. If you're in business, be very careful that you can be let down or played out. That is the main problem, to be let down or played out. So you cannot trust the people you do business with wholesale, all the 100% you cannot. You'll have to do some background checks. You'll have to be careful that the people you do business with may somehow disappoint you. There is a chance of making money, I see, and that is in doing something new. So you might want to try your hand in a new line of business, which, which will start to produce income quite fast. That's the only bright side I can see of your last 13 days. Regarding your health, your last 13 days can contribute problems to your stomach especially. It could be gastric, it could be stomach upsets, it could be eating the wrong thing. So be careful where you eat and what you eat and look after your stomach in the last 13 days. And I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And that 90 minutes will cost you USD 50.50. And it will be, a, what I will do is I will look after your next five, six or seven years in all areas of your life. And I will base all that on your date of birth, your time of birth, and also on what I see on your palms, and when I look at you on Skype, I will face read you as well. And I might even use Kabbalistic Tarot to help you. So with all that information, you'll be able to know how to deal with your next five, six or seven years. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.